Ladies and gentlemen, today I have some big C8 updates that will affect you and your new Corvette order. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I hope you are all ready for these amazing updates today. Now, before I get started, I'd like to thank the Min Engine Corvette Forum for most of my intel today. Again, if you haven't checked this forum out yet, go over there and join. You will love the atmosphere there, I promise. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Clarence over at Seagarner Speed 252. If you haven't checked his YouTube channel out yet, make sure to go check it out and give him a sub. All right, let's jump into the video. Now, number one, we're going to look at a bunch of C8s here in this picture. They're all at the GM plant in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now, I've been told from an inside source that these C8s will be shipping out next week. So if this is true, people will definitely get their C8s before March. Now, here's something really cool. Once you have a 3800 status code on your C8, and by the way, that means your car has been built. You can call GM Concierge and ask for your VIN number. Once you have that, you can download the OnStar app on your phone and start tracking your C8. I think this is great. What do you think? I think it'll be very exciting to know when it leaves Bowling Green and is headed to your dealership. Now, number two, GM is producing 24 new videos on how to's with your C8. This is really great, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, as you've seen in the past, GM has produced some really high quality videos for us to watch about the C8 and learn everything we can learn until we actually get that car. But with this new news, they're making 24 new videos. These are all for C8 owners so that they can truly get to know their car very quickly and adapt to this new min engine layout that GM has provided us. Now also, GM will be personally emailing each and every one a week before your C8 arrives just to let you know it's on its way. And they will be giving you important information about it in that email. They will also follow up with more information on the delivery day. As you can see here, GM is really making this a classy and well-organized experience for each C8 owner. Wouldn't you agree? Let me know in the comments. Number three, the general public are finally driving the C8 and they all love it. Now, unless you're living under a rock somewhere, you probably know that GM invited a select group of people out to Las Vegas for a two day driving adventure. The first day they gave everyone a C8 to drive around the mountains and valleys of the Las Vegas area so they could get a feel for what this new Corvette felt like to cruise around with. Then on day two, GM brought them to Spring Mountain Raceway and let them loose on the track. I'm going to link a few videos in the description below of some of the people that were able to go and experience all of this. This is all great stuff because there are quite a few people out there that have been saying they wanted the general public to drive the C8 and see how they liked it before they decided whether to purchase one or not. Well, those reviews are now here. So take a look at the ones in the description below. You're gonna find more on YouTube than what I've put in here, but these will help you. All right, on to number four. This explains a true silver lining to the GM Strike. Now, I don't know how many people know who John is from the Mid Engine Corvette Forum, but he is the co-founder of that forum. and. He actually was invited to the driving experience out at Las Vegas. Also, Keith, the Corvette blogger, was invited as well. So they both got to go out to Las Vegas to this driving, the C8 driving experience. And John gave us a insight of his first day and second day of driving the car. But I'm going to go over what he talked about in the first day because to me, it is the most important information and it also 
is the most exciting information out of the two days that he drove the car. Now I will talk a little bit to the second day, but first of all, let's get back to the silver lining that he talks about with the strike from GM. So he says over the two month strike span, GM took advantage of the time and made some software and system refinements in the C8. They refined the following, the dual clutch transmission, the ECU computer, the steering, the braking, and suspension software. So while I don't know exactly how they refine these components, obviously this is great to hear because what it tells us is GM, again, is taking this car extremely serious and they are making certain that it is right when it comes out. And so far, when you watch all of these reviews, and when you read what's in front of you from John on the Mid-Engine Corvette Forum, you will see that this car has been well built, well taken care of, and well thought out. Now, maybe I missed this a long time ago, but John revealed something that in my opinion is spectacular news. You can actually change the speed at which the DCT shifts. That's right, folks. You can change how fast or how slow the dual clutch transmission shifts. Now there is a difference between the two shifting modes. He explained that if you want a buttery smooth shift, you can have it. And if you want it to shift super fast, while the C8 jerks you back in your seat, you can also have that. Obviously there will be much more C8 owners that choose the buttery smooth shifting but I know I'll leave mine in the fast mode most of the time. What will you guys do? Now, John explained in this uh, write-up that you see that in that buttery smooth shift mode, you can barely even feel the shifts. That's how great this car uh, is, is shifting. So again, exciting, exciting news. Now, the last piece of news here uh, is number five. And again, for all of those out there with a disappearing TPW, don't panic. Mine disappeared last week and is back this week. I actually called GM Concierge and I'm gonna play a little segment of that right here. Thank you, call the Corporate Concierge, who's the other drink Uh, Michael Brink. Uh, do you want to uh, Michael? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, I can't complain. Good. What can I do today? I just wanted to check on my C8 status, see if I had a, a couple of things. Number one, see if my um, TPW was back, and also check and see if I had a VIN number yet. Okay, what's your number? It's uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see here. So yeah, I see that you have a TPW back. Your order is at 3300, so that's being scheduled for production. And so with that, your TPW is for the week of March 2nd. Okay, so it just came back to exactly the same. Right. That's fine. Um, yeah, you can't, can't, can't be mad about that one. No, not at all. So then I probably won't have a van until 3,800? Yeah, you'll get, get a partial van at 3,400, but once your vehicle is actually going to reduce at 3,800, you'll have the full van. Okay. Alrighty, well, I will check back next week and see if I have a partial VIN yet. <laughs> All right, so uh, look forward to hearing you, Michael. Thank you so much, DeAndre. Thank you. you have right. a good one. Okay, you too. As you can see, I remained a March 2nd build date. Plus, my status moved up to 3300, which is ready for production now. If your TPW isn't back yet, I would wait till this Monday and call GM back you will probably have it back by then. So don't panic. I really believe that you're gonna get it back and it's probably gonna be exactly the same TPW date or you may even be moved up. Especially with the news at the very beginning that I gave you that I have some inside information telling us that starting on Monday, hopefully, these C8s are going to start shipping out. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for me. That is the latest news. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it told you a lot about what to expect with your brand new C8 being on its way. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. 
Obviously, leave me comments down below letting me know what you think about all five of these new updates. And also, let me know if your TPW has come back and if it has, if you got a shorter time period or if it remained the same. Now, with all of that being said, as you can see, I am very close to getting the C8 myself and I hope all of you will join me on this journey. So if you have not subscribed to the Brink of Speed community yet, please consider joining us by hitting that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful and blessed rest of your weekend, and I will see you out on the road. Thank you.